Fa'uzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Atiyaullah Atiyya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukal ajeezu da'ifu miskinu zalim jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence Alhamdulillah by the guidance of Holy Qur'an and the immense ni'mah of the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Wa Bismillahi rahmani raheem Inna Allah describing Khuluqul Azeem that they may come to you and say, You are Majnoon, but know by the might of your Lord that you are of a magnificent character. And the turuqs, they must be operating from Ayatul Kareem <coughs> Adab and Rabbi fa ahsanun fi tahdeeb. They are here to. Teach the adab and the character of people to raise their honour and status in the presence of Allah to give people hope, to give people good character in a world of difficulty because Allah Zawajal bestow upon awliyaullah ilm al laduni wa hikmati bi salihin one without the other makes no sense just saying something with no hikmah is useless and having hikmah and not saying something is oppressive people needed the wisdom why Allah gave it and if somebody had been taught then Allah is expecting from awliya that they have a hikmah in using that wisdom and they use appropriately for every location and every people have a different wisdom. And from Ayatul Kareem where Allah described me, Khuluqul Azeem, you're of a magnificent character, means keep the way of good character and teach people adab. And as a result of teaching people adab, they can achieve magnificent realities. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. And that's what Allah wants from them, not to make them sharia students and, and qaris and judges, that's a different, <laughs> that's a different firqa, a different line. But when you teach to the masses they can all achieve like a dog from Ashab al-Kaf, good manners. And if the good manners saved a dog to go to paradise. What do you think about, that we honoured the creation of Adam and Eve, that the honoured creation of Allah what type of status they can achieve. That's why Ashab al-Kaf and the, sto the, the sto story from the sleepers of Ashab al-Kaf was to give the criteria that if Allah finds a dog that dirty but because it's loyalty and good character through continuous testing, continuous testing and bombardment not by people 
throwing flowers at them but continuously casting at them stones. This can be bad words, bad advice, bad gaze, bad thoughts. Every stone comes in a different fashion. And Allah gives to us, this is, these are the surahs that guide the people of tariqah and the people of realities. That if a najis can reach to paradise just by good character, the tariqahs emphasize good character, go out to the people, reach to them and teach them good character, how to be loving, how to put down arrogance and pride how to keep the brotherhood and the family, wherever Allah describes family bonds, higher reality is your spiritual family than your physical family because many people in these lands their physical family is obliterated. Mother one side, father in love one side, children different side. We're coming into the lands whom have been obliterated by shaitan. There's not Islamic lands with Islamic custom. Even now the Islamic countries they're all in, in uh, obliterated relationships. So why then? Allah is giving you the criteria of family that hold family ties. Prophet teaching the sunnah hold family ties, it's relevant to your spiritual family. Hold your spiritual family, keep the brotherhood teach good manners and good character to give people hope. People whom struggling and striving to keep the tariqah alive, to keep the flag up, then you come and make them happy, make them joyous, give them good words and good encouragement so they can continue. And this is khuluqul azeem to encourage people towards goodness and to love. But not everybody is the same and not every training was the same. And those whom train from their shaykh, they understood to be of service to people and the greatest joy that Allah has when you give His creation hope. We're on the way of rahmah, we're not pretending to be prophets of Allah and scare people away. We're only on Siratul Rahmah, we're on the way of mercy knowing that these are dark days, difficult days, confusing families, confusing relationships, spread love happiness, hope, encourage people The mashaAllah what you've done great, people good, people living the tariqah life to the best of their ability. These are what are expected. So alhamdulillah at least glad tidings from ourselves to the people whom live this way day by day, who struggle and strive in the way of Allah to heap the the love and ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad Wherever you are, when you're in the zawiyas, supporting the zawiyas, when you're in your living room and at home, Allah bless you infinitely with eternal blessings. And the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is the immense gift from Allah That those who know and they're trained that way, alhamdulillah they know it. Those whom not, inshaAllah Allah guide them to a way in which to give people hope, to dispense the candies to people. Mawlana Shaykh would go and give candies always to the children and teach that everybody's a child, just some are a little bit hairier. They're not rijal. In Allah's eyes they didn't reach sainthood, some maybe, but give to everyone candies to make them happy, that they have a happy heart. And if their hearts are happy they can let the sun shine in. 
a flower in which becomes closed by rain and tribulation and difficulty and wind. Allah shows guidance in nature. If you think you're the sun, shine on people. But if you think you're the sun and you act like a tornado, you're going to kill the garden. When the flowers come out to bloom, they're expecting the sun to appear. And as a result they try to open their hearts coming through their western difficulties, trying to pay their rent, trying to get their groceries, trying to keep their kids from wearing dresses and when they're not supposed to, trying to keep their whole families together in the appropriate way that is pleasing to Allah keep their kids off of drugs, keep their kids off of guns and, and gangs and, and hardship. To come for five minutes and mention Allah's name hoping that that rahmah and mercy will save them. There's so much difficulty in people just trying to get to the zikr, sit at the zikr, turn on the TV, just read the emails that are coming in. Somebody being beaten while trying to turn the zikr on because there's violence and anger in the home. It's not easy, so it means that this way is a way of rahmah and they're all Allah's flowers, don't judge them. Allah loves every single one of the creations He brought into existence. Some through the harshness of their conditions they see only but storms, a father that beats them, a mother that abuses them, what can you do for whatever was written? But awliya and guides, they're not like that, not supposed to be like that. They're to be reminded that you took the path of being a son, dispense Allah's mercy and rahmah. It's free, it costs you nothing. Be a, a vessel for ishq and muhabbat. Shine, shine upon people. Even when you can't you say, Rabbi I don't really feel have anything good to say, you say it anyways because Allah reminds us, I shine on you all the time. Be like me from My Divinely Presence, I feed all My servants, I like them, I don't like them, they believe in Me, they don't believe in Me. Can you imagine if Allah was, Allah was like us where a person doesn't believe? They can't find food the next day, immediately become sick, deathly ill if worship was mandatory. But Allah shows an immense mercy, no, no, I love all My creation. If they worship Me, alhamdulillah I dress them with infinite and if they don't worship Me I still dress them with infinite because I love them. I shine upon them regardless of their loving me, worshipping me. He sets a, a bar very high for khuluqul azim. Means give love to people, give hope to people. So that even the worst one goes away feeling good. So they feel that tomorrow will be a better day. Oh, they said something good about me, ha <laughs> they don't know how bad I am but Ya Rabbi let me to be better. Maybe tomorrow will be like an amazingly different day and you never know when Allah changes somebody. So always a reminder for our people, whoever they are, wherever they are, our teaching is different. Our teaching is based on this system of rahmah, of mercy and hope for people to go away feeling good. That what the shaykh gained from his struggles in life, from what we described the night before, they feed orphaned people because all their students are orphaned. You put that turban on your head, many relatives will leave you. You grow that beard, the other half of them will leave you. You start doing zikr, everyone won't talk to you. They say, stop doing this stuff, it reminds us. So they're all yatim, 
miskeen, yeah, they realized how wealthy Allah is. And they came to zikr, they accepted the shaykh and their soul was thrown into an ocean of rahmah so immense. We said before, everyone comes from dunya as a big fish in a very small pond. I was a big guy in my community, I knew everybody, I have everything. But when you come to Allah's ocean of rahmah you feel like you're drowning. I don't even know what my coordinates, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I don't know where I'm going to end. This is a rahmah that shows you that yes Allah's rich, His infinite bounty beyond your imagination. Once He throws you into that ocean all you can feel is drowning. And in the event the awliya will come to you and say, drown, there's more power under the water than above the water. Mawta qabl al mawt. How much people fighting to die? They don't want to die. You watch their adventure movies, they're running through the bushes, end of the world is coming, running through the bushes, running through the bushes. What the heck you running to? Where is it that you're trying to go and hide and how many years you want to live on this earth? Face your fate and run the other direction. They don't want to show Muslim movies because they would run the other direction. <laughs> so how do you fight a people who love to run towards bullets? You can't, they're not defeatable. They look for death as other people love life. But watch the movies, what do you see? Running in the bushes, running here, running there, trying to live a thousand years hiding in a bush somewhere. But Allah give to the believers, no. We're disconnected from the heavens, we're, we, are, we have nothing in comparison to Allah's wealth. Allah's might and majesty and what Allah can give to the servant of bounties and they become captive. Well then these awliya are responsible, not all of them are the same. But those who understand this reality and teaching you this reality is a hint for you, they feed you from these knowledges not because you deserve it. You would have to spend a thousand lifetimes to take from these knowledges. Not because you earned it because you didn't pay that much to get that. Don't think your five dollar contribution got you access to realities. But it's Allah's ni'mat that He wrote for you, sit at this table and one of these servants will teach you. And it's not written for everybody. Many have tried to pass by and they don't sit at the table thinking they're clever but in reality no this table spread is not meant for you, you can continue your journey. So that's when they knew their asir. Was there a, a money that you could pay to reach the Muhammadan haqqaiqs? Absolutely not. The only time you paid money to reach these realities was so that we tied your foot because when you're really invested in it you don't bounce around to different places. So, ah, I got to start it all over with those people, no, oh, I'm so heavily invested in this. You know if you do a big investment and construction and you're building and building and building, at the last minute say, oh, I'm leaving this construction, thank you, I'm going to go now build over there and spend all that money now somewhere else. So no, the money doesn't buy you access to realities, it ties your foot to the shaykh. So when they start shooting you got nowhere to run, you're going to live and die with that person. If he's not present with you, you feel him and sense him in everything you do because you're tied to that soul. And that's what asir is, that you're captive, not by your brain, not by your money but by your heart and soul. That you're locked with this immense chain of love that binds you from your heart to their reality and as a result they're feeding you from these haqqaiqs, nourishing your soul from an immense reality. And not everyone's the same, you hear this reality then you go sit with ten people thinking everybody's the same, no. Whatever their title is doesn't mean anything and then Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Surat al kaf that Sayyidina Musa 
with his extremely high station, official station, Kalimullah, one of the six big Prophets of Allah This is a reminder who's on top. Don't ever guess with what you think you know through your eyes and through your ears and what you want from your nafs. Because Allah gives to the servant of the path because there's a, there's a reality at at least 12,000 different angles. We've talked about the angle of being a student on how not to ask questions. We talked on the angle of Sayyidina Musa trying to reach the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So he has to go to a Muhammadan shaykh. But when Allah gives to us from another angle, look, this servant is one whom speaks to Allah a Prophet of Allah but he's in need to meet Sayyidina Khidr for a much higher reality. And he speaks to Allah, means don't ever think whatever your closeness is to Allah that there's nobody closer. Because Nabi Musa thought that He's sitting with his murids, he say, Ah Musa, you astonishing. Is there anyone more knowledgeable than you? He said, Wallahi I don't think so. <laughs> he felt scared. He asked, Is there anyone smarter than me or more knowledgeable than me, than closer to, to you than me? Ah, Musa, I'll send you to just one of them. Of course, there are. Above every knower, there's another knower. Above everyone who thinks they're close to Allah, Allah has another person even closer to Allah. But people are attracted to titles. And they think that, okay, this label's more, more higher expensive, I'll wear this label, I'll go after this label. But tariqah comes and teaches, oh, follow your heart, listen to your heart. And people are all different but you understand through the uloom and the knowledge is who's who. Not by the outward title, this is filan filan, this is filan filan, no. Because Allah giving, this is the surah of tariqah. Allah's giving, no this is a Prophet of Allah which official title there's nothing higher and of the six great Prophets of Allah But yet for a knowledge he needed to meet Sayyidina Khidr For some understanding that his heart needed and maybe the soul of Sayyidina Khidr needed to sign something. There's a spiritual reason that an association has to take place. But he gave him a warning that it was not going to be compatible because the knowledge we have is for the little understanding that you have is going to block that. Means there's going to be a confusion and a difficulty and the relationship transpired with Sayyidina Musa coming to try to teach Sayyidina Khidr The way you did like that, you didn't follow sharia? Huh? You're coming to Sayyidina Khidr and talking about sharia? Yeah, why you broke the boat? Means there's no understanding, no even observing. Why did you do that to that child? So there's no trying to absorb, it's just now judging. Why, why you didn't build this fence and charge for it? Again, means that Allah throughout Qur'an gives us understanding that the servants of Khuluqul Azim, they don't know if they're supposed to be giving or receiving in an environment, so they come with good character. Any type of good character, when you have good character, you're able to absorb every reality coming to you. Aha, uh -huh, mashaAllah, mashaAllah. 
I know nothing, I'm a faqeer billahi ta'ala, I'm nothing. But if you think you're the one, then the whole miracle is lost with hasad. Everything you see is blocked by hasad and the miracle is lost. The secret is lost, the conveyance is lost and everything that was accomplished is lost. And this is what Surah Kahf is describing for us. This way is very mysterious. Whom giving and receiving of a secret is not known except through Allah and those hidden servants. Outside audience think something is happening, what they thought when they saw Sayyidina Musa or Sayyidina Khidr because one is an official title, the other one is a hidden servant of Allah But with good manners what teaches you? Be loving, be kind, come to absorb what does this area have for you? What is its understanding? But Sayyidina Musa was too absorbed with teaching him that you did that wrong. You did that other test wrong. You did the other test wrong and at the end Sayyidina Qidr said, okay it's for me and you, thank you this is our parting. The system not going to work. So Allah has in Qur'an these realities. It's not what people perceive through their eyes and what they perceive through whose station is what, but through their heart. So the online and in-person students follow through your heart. When you're following your shaykh you're loyal to your shaykh and who is your shaykh? Follow through your heart, connect through your heart. The one whom you took your knowledges from you owe your life to that. It's a lock onto your heart, right? As soon as a, a, a coin comes into your wallet, there you're bound by a smart contract, right? Somebody send you 10,000 bitcoins, can you say, no it's mine now? No government comes knocking on your door actually, we have the address that this came to your wallet. What that teaches you? Can you take a knowledge and say, no Ya Rabbi I got it myself? And Allah says, no actually it's on a smart contract, it came from his heart and it was locked into your heart. And you're accountable for what you took from his wallet. What is this technology showing people on earth? And why Imam Ali said, if you learn just two letters from a servant, you owe them your life. You don't have to keep asking, what's your title, who are you, who's this, who's this? Are you Musa or your Khidr? Are you Musa or your Khidr? You took the knowledges. Now serve, come to this way of being beautific and loving and having good character. Dispense for people hope that it's already stormy weather everywhere, give them hope, give them love, give them compassion so that they feel that there's a better day that's coming. And this is the way that we were trained. And this is the reason Allah is infinitely generous with the knowledges that are flowing from this tap. I want them to eat from your table. For how could I feed people if Allah didn't give me the sustenance and the food? If He says, I don't want you to feed anymore, that tap will close, finished. I look at you, you look at me and we nothing. But if Allah wants it, says, no they're in need to be eating this reality, your service is to serve it. And those whom are with you make sure that it can be served nice and hot and fresh, right? Pave the way. That's why our guys are in production, video, advertising and marketing, why? So that a hot meal reaches you like DoorDash or skip the dishes. What's that? People in their living room they only want like a hamburger coming right away? Allah wants them, no, give them the knowledges right away. Let them know the Muhammadan key is their salvation through this dajjal that entering. Others are seem to be heedless about it. They don't seem to know what the, is going to be the remedy. 
Maybe they're not on the western front and they don't understand that this is where the sun rises. People have to use their heart. And Allah even described in Surah Al-Yusuf the most beautiful of stories Allah described. Why? The twelve brothers tried to kill Sayyidina Yusuf And we say there are twelve prophets of Bani Israel and others say they're not twelve prophets. Where they inherit the twelve imams, they take the placeholder, twelve tribes is not a random number. There are twelve tribes and imams for Bani Israel in which they inherit the reality, the placeholders of the twelve imams. These are the twelve fountains for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad And look what they were doing, the Bani Israel people. Eleven of them trying to kill their twelfth brother from hasad and jealousy. So again Allah has throughout Qur'an that if somebody should become jealous and a bad character enter within their hearts, the miracle is bound, they, they're blind to the miracle. And they begin then to exhibit these different characteristics. We pray that Allah protect us, that Allah infinitely guide us, Allah to enshroud us with the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.